Hi everyone, Wednesday the 28th of October 2020. Great cards, two major arcana cards. The first one being the world and it's the end of the major arcana story. It's number 21 card and it depicts the world and it's as if we have gone around the world, experienced everything. We've had the courage of a lion in certain situations to push through. Also, we've had the tenacity and the strength of a bull to be able to keep going, the observation of an eagle, the communication skills and the intelligence to be able to work people out and negotiate things through adversity quite often. Uh, that's how we learn, isn't it, really? And here we are, we've got the winning wreath and we're dancing in the middle of it. And we've got a couple of little batons or scepters that we're dancing with a little bit like the cheerleaders, maybe spinning that around. Purple sash wrapped around you, which is depicting that you are now wrapped around your intuition. Your intuition is wrapped around you. You are naked, which means that you are happy to show the true you. You're not frightened to bear your soul. You are an amazing individual and you are not scared to be yourself. Great card. It's the end of the major arcana story. So it can, being the first card today, meaning that you're ending and tying something up, a journey, a phase of your life. And the next card, funnily enough, is the beginning of the major arcana cards with the zero. The fool, when it's up this way, is you merrily going, having nothing really in your mind, blank canvas, the divine, sends a message to your subconscious mind through your crown chakra. you are got your head in the air there, nearly ready to trip over a cliff because you're not looking down, but you're happily in bliss, thinking of wonderful things, or thinking of not much at all. And that's when the ideas do go cha-ching and come into your subconscious mind to your conscious mind and then you can make it happen in the real life, in the real world. When this card is upside down, because look, he's got his little package here of just what he needs to take on his journey, not much. We don't need much, do we? We just need our brain and we need our legs and we need a bit of food to keep us uh, healthy and have sustenance and energy to be able to go on a new journey. I love that he's holding this white rose because the white rose also means the purity of the divine is with you. You're holding that in your hand. It came out in reverse. When I see the fool in reverse, I actually do believe that you've taken the head, your head out of the sky, out of uh, the ethos, out of the clouds, and you're actually ready to put your idea into a working pattern, a plan, a project, something tangible, something material. So again, it sort of fits in with tying up with the last journey, your last chapter in your life, ready to go. It's slotted into your conscious mind. You're ready to plant it into the real world right here, right now. And the last card is really what the theme of the week has been. And cups are emotions, love, feelings, and that can be also feelings of hurt, shame, upset, revenge, guilt, all the things that we probably don't want to really look at because when it's upright, this is all the wonderful things that we've had happen in our lives or want to have happen in our lives. So the dream of a beautiful home is your castle. The dream of beautiful possessions, meeting somebody that you can communicate really well with, a little bit of mystery in your life, transformation like a snake shedding its skin. All of these are the things that we wish for in a normal phase of the major arcana, the 21 cards. But when it's in reverse again, to me, this week we are needing to let go of old emotions, old belief systems, patterns of like that little glitch in the computer drive that keeps on going like a, a record with a scratch. <laughs> now we need to smooth that scratch out by literally cleaning up that record, smoothing off that little bit of a deviation that we've had along the way that we keep on reinforcing by sabotaging ourselves, by hanging on to some of these old patterns that we don't need anymore. 
Time to let the cups flow and let the emotions flow out of us, away for us, from us, into the earth. Remember I've taught you about grounding and planting those little tentacles all the way down from the bottom of your feet, all the way through the sand and the soil and the underground water streams, past the gravel, the bigger rocks, the boulders, and plonking that energy tentacles like the root system of a weed or a plant into that lava lake, that moat that's around that big orange ember that turns the world from minute to minute to hour to hour to day to day. Drain all those emotional things that you don't need anymore. Let them go, let them flow as if they're liquid coming out of you into the earth. The, the earth loves it, Mother Earth goes, yay! This is fertilizer. This will make the trees bigger, the grass greener, the snow caps whiter. Don't be frightened to let all those emotions, all those unhealthy uh, feelings and emotions that you've held on to for too long now, let them out of your every cell, your every atom, your auric field everywhere be drained. And then you can leave and open up your crown chakra to the energy of above, the universal energy, masses of energy out there. If you go through that Milky Way, that oval-shaped fairy lights of the Milky Way, there's an actual black hole in the middle of that that goes to infinity. It's so far and so vast. There's other, many, many other solar systems, planets, stars like our sun, uh, galaxies way past there, grab all that energy and, and direct it down, 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 all the way past the planets in our own atmosphere, past the moon, into the day sky, in through our ceiling, pour that waterfall of energy all the way through our body. And again, any last little fragments of those feelings that are left in our every cell, atom, flesh, auric field, wash with that auric field of that waterfall flow of the universal energy, let it take it, let it sweep it further down, all the way down, take every last little bit out of your body into Mother Earth's core. And you then will feel lighter. You'll have energy coming in from above. You'll be having old stuff going out from below. Then the rest of the day, just sit quietly and wait for the aha moments and the great ideas and the purity of the divine messages can come then. When you're an antenna, you're like a, a conduit, an aerial receiving a higher frequency. Give it a shot, give it a try. We have 21, the fool is zero, and we have seven. So 21 and seven is 28, two and eight is 10, rounds back to number one. And one is like the magician in the tarot, and you can make magic today. Have a lovely Wednesday, everyone. See you tomorrow.